certificates from one of the families in the countryside with uh, its code. So the families would have never uh, given a loom like this, you know, given to an entrepreneur uh, because it was a secret. So um, this is the warp, okay? So we use cotton, but they used to use linen. Cotton is much better for the uh, pieces to be washed by the washing machine because this is 21st century, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so uh, we have about 720 threads, something wow. like this. <laughs> um, and they are kind of divided into four parts. So a quarter of them go through a harness that is attached to a pedal, another quarter go through another harness, and so on. And the code I was talking about is, um, I'm going to make it up because I don't know it by heart, okay? But it, it's not like first uh, thread, first harness, second thread, second harness, you just get bored, okay? Too easy. <laughs> uh, it's more like uh, first thread, fourth harness, second thread, uh, third harness, and all that stuff, okay? So it's, it's very, very complicated. You don't invent it. And um, Marta weaves with her feet. <laughs> But she does beautiful really things, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> and uh, whenever she pushes the pedals, she makes an opening on the warp, and inside the opening, she throws the shuttle with the bobbin inside. Ta -da. Are you changing your feet each time? And, yes, every time. If I use the same opening, do you remember Penelope the Weaver? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I undo it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you trick. undo it. <laughs> <laughs> then I send the work. This is one opening, I push it, Right. then I change the position of the pedals and this way I fix it. It locks it in. Oh. And then I make the, I send the next one. Every time I have to change the position of the pedals. Like I would dance. never be able to do this because I, I can't dance either, so this would be my feet, I would be going with the pedals. <laughs> right. like, wait a minute, it should have been the left. Because yeah. you can't get the arms in there too, you gotta get the arms in with the feet. So people like you and me, Sorry, there's a trick. Martha would actually write the numbers of the pedal. Ah, <laughs> this is for me, for instance, okay? The weavers in general. Yeah, but also for me. If I'm alone, I have to make a, you know, to do a visit tour. Like, I don't weave on this one, and I feel like cursed with this one. So she wrote, you know, some uh, numbers, you know, for um, different patterns. The only thing is that I have no idea what she's doing, you know, on the loom. So I take one, you know, paper randomly, I use the number, you know, I do the openings, and then there's something which has nothing to do with what she's doing. So when she comes back, she's like, <laughs> okay. <did> she <laughs> and she actually, she doesn't need this. She reads the fabrics and she recognizes the, the openings. So she can undo it. So I know it, so I take advantage of it. I just do whatever I want, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Martha. <laughs> The fact that she's reading, she can read fabric, like we read, we read books, mm -hmm. we're normal yeah. persons, mm -hmm. aren't we? Mm -hmm. uh, she's not. So, <laughs> thank you! <laughs> so she reads fabrics, and this allowed her to um, actually recognize... Because I'm dyslexic. No, uh, that's, that's your excuse, okay. but Sophie, yeah, excuse. So Sophie and Viola are not dyslexic. She were, they were able to read the fabrics too, and they're very, very gifted. They so it's read, no, they don't read the fabric. They are, uh, maybe. They can work like me, mm -hmm. but in this moment, they play with the openings to make new design without this. Okay. Mm. But in this moment, they are not able to recognize a design ah, okay. on a painting and make it again. Oh, they can't figure so, out how okay, to figure it out. This is a okay. Yeah. One of you is dyslexic. Because, because uh, okay, when I was a child, I played piano without music, just like here. Yeah. In the same way, I play my loom. I don't know how, I can understand which range of position of the pedals I push right. to recognize to right. make the particular design that I can see in the painting. So it's like a loop. But you can do it, you just don't know how to. You just don't know how you, you, don't know how you did it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's so amazing. <laughs> See, but I think it's your I genetic. It, it must be arts. genetic. The, the, the black arts. It's like printing. Would you call this? I don't mean call it. No. What's a black no. art? What do well, you mean? the black art, when something is like when they used to call printing, okay, and have all three. Um, no, 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 capisco di riferimento, sinceramente, no. Oh, okay. Cioè, nel senso che my brain is exploding. <laughs> How you did this? It's 
is like magical. It's like how does Wi-Fi work? So black, art, so black art would be almost like it because it's like a spiritual, like yeah, a cosa, un po tipo magico. It's magic. It's magic. Ah, yeah. Beh, ok, le tessitrici erano viste molto come streghe. Eh, sì, perché okay. soprattutto quelle che riuscivano a fare questi prodotti erano pochissime, anche sì. perché era un segreto. Tant'è ah. che in italiano si dice eh, eh, tramare sì. alle spalle. Perché queste donne che avevano queste capacità, perché tutte si sono fare la liscia, sì. solo alcune famiglie, alcune donne, avevano sì. questa sì. capacità sì. e ce la tramandavano. Questa è una magia. Sì. So they called the black arts anything that was a little bit oltre le cose normali. No, io, io so. sto insegnando questa mia tecnica particolare a tessitrici che vengono da tutto il mondo, perché appunto la, la gente che ha imparato a essere, ha imparato a essere così. Yeah. Sì. Ok? E quindi loro lavorano con le cosine. Io invece gli dico no. Usate le aperture. Can you come close to me, sorry? Yeah. Because each different position of the pedals is a different opening of the warp. Can you see? No, I'm sorry, yeah. in the top. Yeah. Come up here. Look. Can you see? Uh -huh. You open it. This is the opening two, two, three. Okay. Look, this is the oh, opening it's two, different. four. Yeah, when I, just I got mix it. the openings, like when you play with a Lego, you know the Lego? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's and then I, I'm trying to teach this technique uh, to the weavers. Because we have we do a class of weaving, mm -hmm. and uh, some weaver I think, how uh, much did he get? Got it. They get. Yeah, they, they, so and they say, "Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't wait to go it. back home yeah. and start to work." And some weaver, ah, oh, no, we need uh, this because not everybody is crazy everybody like can me. Get this. Because this is the, it this this is intuitive. It's a, you're intuitive. It's not like, woo! No, yeah. but look at Even the Even though that she uses this is one of the most intricate. I mean, this is a little bit of i send the one shuttle in black, one in red, one in black, one in red, I mix together. But mm -hmm. I mean, this is just yeah. my brain just, yeah. yeah. So, but this one usually takes seven okay. exactly. days. We're not leaving. Ten days without yeah. anybody around me. More than a week. Yeah. 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 Without yeah. dogs, phones, no one around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are just allowed to weave because we're silent. Yeah, we we, we, we don't talk. The intricacy and and every time I change it's so many so. details, just for me. Yeah. Just because that's and your art. Different. Different. Otherwise, we get bored. Oh. <laughs>